So you know we love the Seaforce 500 and you know exactly how we feel about it. But what about the Seaforce 400 from CF Moto? Well that's coming up on this video. So, if you were to take away the tires and rims on both machines, take off the decals, and just had the plastic in the frame, you would be looking at the same exact machine. The only differences that you would find between the two would be, of course, the 500cc engine versus the 400cc engine, as well as, on this one, there's no power steering and there's no winch. They both have the CV Tech clutches on both machines, and they are tuned differently with the different spring and different uh, weights. But when it comes to suspension, you still have the same independent rear suspension. You have the same uh, differential, the same axles, the same layout for your brake system. You also have the same exact body lines, the same headlights, the rack, the seat, everything else is exactly the same. So you have seen how we have put the Seaforce 500 through the paces and we have really tested it and pushed it to its limits. And can you imagine that that is the exact same durability that you will have out of a Seaforce 400. Now it is around a thousand dollars cheaper overall than the Seaforce 500. So what do we think about the performance of the 400. All right, so we're saddled up on the 400. We're back in uh, behind my uh, property, and uh, we haven't been back here in a while, but we're in low gear, and uh, just gonna cruise around and, and see what we think about the 400. It's got some punch for it to be just the 400. It's not gonna rip you off the, uh, four-wheeler or nothing but it's still got enough to be playful and have a good time on if you're getting it for recreational purposes now the power steering is not a issue uh, as long as you're moving while you're rolling it, it's fine I mean I can steer it with one hand it's no big deal If you've never had a power steering, if you've never had an ATV with power steering on it, uh, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't be missing it, I don't guess. But I've been spoiled since I've had power steering. I, I really I really like being able to just steer effortlessly with one hand. this so I gotta come back here and clean out the trails it's been a while since I've rode back here but we're just in two-wheel drive just cruising through here and uh, you know no problems I'm comfortable the independent rear suspension is, is doing its job providing a nice soft ride now we'll come back in a minute and we'll go that way and really test out the four-wheel drive Go 
back here and uh, try to make a crossing that will really articulate the machine. Okay, so this right here is a really difficult crossing. Uh, it, it will really move the machine uh, and try to tip you over. I don't know how we'll be able to do it with these stock tires, but we'll go ahead and put in four wheel drive and we'll see what we can do. It doesn't look bad on camera, but it, it's, it's pretty bad. and easy that was uh, pretty effortlessly and we'll make this crossing oh yeah I felt it bottom out on a stump but that's okay now this here is uh, pretty steep we'll see if we can crawl up it with the stock tires four wheel drive it's not in dip lock Oh yeah, no problem. And with it just in four wheel drive and not in dip lock, it's still not hard to turn even without power steering. We'll stop, put it back in two. very pleased with the 400 for what it is and for the engine size that it is. When I ride it, I can't help but to think about comparing it to a Honda 420 Rancher. You know, that's a very durable machine, but the base model Honda Rancher 420 doesn't come with power steering either, and it has the steel wheels and kind of the same style tire layout, and it's the same physical size very close to the same dimensions. But with the Honda Rancher 420, you do get a, a little bit bigger uh, displacement engine, but you also, you're not gonna get the same ride quality with the Honda Rancher that you will with the independent rear suspension of the C-Force 400. Now you can get your Rancher lined out with independent rear suspension, but you're gonna be paying well over the price range of a C-Force 500, which it has a bigger engine, uh, it comes standard with a winch, standard with power steering, nice painted plastics. It does not come with these tires and rims, but it does come with some really nice rims and some decent tires for OEM. The engine performance for the 400 is, is really good. It's, it's anything that you could ask or expect out of a 400 engine this is a great entry level machine and for the money you cannot beat this machine the c-force 400 is a very capable atv you can use it around the house you can use it around the farm you can still just like the 500 and all the models hook up a receiver hitch to it and pull a trailer pull uh you know uh anything around a little utility trailer to haul stuff and there's other hookups that you can use. Any kind of universal fit uh, uh, accessories will go on this machine. I mean, even you can take, uh, and if you want to, you can add tires and rims to it and get with the money that you save going with the C Force 400. You can personalize it, add tires and rims to it. And anything that works on the C Force 500 will basically work on your C Force. 400 because like I said they're the same frame size and everything else same suspension and whatnot it's a great looking ATV it handles good out on the trails I will tell you this after driving and owning a C-Force 500 uh, which has power steering I definitely do miss it on the 400 but hey you're not having to pay for that on the 400 you're saving money and you're getting into the sport if you're getting it for utility 
purposes it's, it's going to be useful if you're getting it for multi-purpose recreational have fun ride the kids around uh, play in the yard play out at the ATV park this machine will do it and uh, for a great price you still get the same features that you do on the Seaforce 500 as far as the four-wheel drive is concerned you got the push button to go from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and then once you push that you also have four-wheel drive diff lock also new for 2021 you have a parking brake that you can engage just like that and uh, so that's a very nice useful thing that they've added for 2021 also for 2021 besides the decals and the the new uh, styling of the decal itself you also get uh, a new design on your heat shielding for your exhaust which is all underneath here if you don't see yourself needing power steering or a winch and uh, you just want a atv to be able to get some things done around your property or just to have for fun to ride listen you can't go wrong with this cf moto c force 400. remember you can get your cf moto at main street cycle in tishomingo mississippi they have plenty of options there in stock and they're always getting new units in so if they're definitely worth the drive and they can take care of you they have the great service department and plenty of parts as well if you're needing that main street cycle tell them I sent you. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very helpful and informative. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless y'all. And as always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.